business will receive a tax abatement in Vigo County after a contested vote tonight. The abatement for zinc power, which will work alongside Great Dane in the northern part of the county, passed on a 4-3 to three vote. Will Price joins us now with the very latest. Will. Yeah, Mike, what it came down to was an issue that has plagued the council for years. Members brought up concerns about not having a set system for evaluating requests like this, but it did not stop this one from going through. Nearly 100 new jobs will soon be a reality in Vigo County. That's after a vote from the Vigo County Council Tuesday to give a tax abatement to Zinc Power USA, but it almost failed. Two of the council members who voted no expressed it had to do with the lack of structure for how to handle tax abatement requests, and Council President Todd Thacker, who voted yes, understands those concerns. I am personally for to have a, a system in place, a policy procedure that we have a CIS scoring system. But at the same time, a lack of us having something in place shouldn't prevent economic growth for our county. Council members briefly debated tabling the request, but Steve Witt, the president of the Terre Haute Economic Development Corporation, advised against the decision during the meeting. They haven't closed on your property yet. And business isn't going to sit around and wait for government to decide what to do. Um, you know, we've talked about this is a company with four plants in the U.S. It's actually at 50 plants in 13 countries around the world. Now this plan will move forward. Zinc Power will work alongside Great Dane Manufacturing once it's finished, and the council will continue to pursue a grading system. I think everybody on the council wants to do the right thing as far as making sure that they are scoring uh, this. Now after the vote, a representative for the business told me they plan to get started on the project as soon as possible. Mike. All right, thanks a lot, Will.